Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday and happy snow day. Um, I'm coming to you as you might expect from my home today because our offices are closed. Um, and I, I have to tell you, I've been thinking all week about how am I going to live up to that amazing video that the staff did last week while I was gone. Um, and I haven't come up with anything. So I don't have any bells or whistles. Um, I thought I might show you a cat video, but it's all too complicated. So, uh, so you just get me and my fake fire. Um, and a bunch of announcements about what's going on in the life of our church. Uh, so first, um, it is a snow day today. The offices are closed, and tonight's Tuesday night programming is canceled. So uh, we are going to have a great Dances of Universal Peace um, program, and we are going to still have that, but it will be in May. So if you are really excited about coming to that, uh, mark down the second Tuesday in May. Um, and uh, you'll still have a chance. Um, but today, stay home, stay safe. Um, I also want to remind you that anytime the Nashua Public Schools are closed or delayed, our offices are also closed or delayed. Um, so if, if there is a delay tomorrow morning, um, we, we may be delayed in getting into the office as well. Uh, the second really important thing I want to tell you is uh, that it is still stewardship campaign time. So our stewardship campaign officially ended two weeks ago or a week and a half ago, um, but we haven't gotten all our pledges. So I wanted to show you, I have a visual here. Um, this is our little, uh, our, our thermometers. So this one right here shows pledge units and you'll see our goal is to have 185 pledge units and we're at about 129 right now. And over here, you'll see goal, goal for money. Um, our goal is $335,000. We, we're hoping to raise that much this year. And we're at about $286,000 right now. So we've got a $50,000 gap there that some of you, I hope, will help us fill because um, you have not all gotten your pledges in. Um, and I want to make sure you know that uh, we really do count on knowing uh, what your pledge will be for the next year so that we can budget appropriately. And we are already starting to work on the budget for next year. Uh, we have to start working on it in March so that we can have it all ready for you by annual meeting time. Um, so please do get your pledges in. And I know some of you have the day off of work or school today, so um, this might be a great day to go online and make your pledge. Did you know you can do that? Um, I will put the link to that page in the comments of this video. Um, and if you haven't made your pledge yet, please take this snow day, take take whatever extra time you're getting um, to use that link and pledge online so we can plan for next year. Thank you. And thank you so much to everyone who has already pledged. We've had some really generous pledges, so we're grateful for that. Uh, this Thursday is our adult owl class. Um, uh, the topic is communication. And it's also our Simple Gifts Open Mic Night, our monthly open mic night um, at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Uh, that's always a fun time. This Saturday is uh, one of our leadership summits uh, from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. in the dining room. So any of you leaders, please uh, come join us for that. The featured team is the Board of Trustees, and I just saw an agenda. It looks like they've got a really fun and informative morning planned for you. Um, so please do come out for that, and um, RSVP to Pat Ledoux. On Sunday, we've got a really um, full Sunday, and the first thing is our youth service. So the youth have planned a really fun and risky service for this Sunday. Um, I was with them rehearsing for it on Friday night, um, and they it's going to be great. You don't want to miss it. Um, so please come for our youth service this Sunday um, and find out all the surprises they have planned for you. After the service, uh, I am going to be giving a tour of the church. Um, you can meet me and Lori LaRude at 1145 in the fellowship room for that tour if you're interested. 
And there's a whole slew of open houses happening on Sunday. So the first one is our very own Children's Winter Garden with White Wing School is having an open house from 1 to 3 p.m. this Sunday. Um, come find out about the preschool and kindergarten programs. Uh, let anyone you know who has kids in that age range um, that this open house is happening. Our, um, our preschool and kindergarten programs are, are really amazing, so I hope you'll come learn more about them. The Nashua Area Interfaith Council is launching their House of Faith tours this Sunday as well, um, and that's an opportunity to learn about NAIC member congregations history, worship, and community life in Nashua. And their first one is at Temple Beth Abraham, um, right down the road from us, from, uh, from 1.30 to 3.30 this Sunday. That's 1.30 to 3.30, and they're at 4 Raymond Street, um, and everyone is welcome. And just a little later than that, from 2 to 4, the Islamic Center of Greater Nashua is having an open house. Um, it's a chance to meet our Muslim neighbors and learn about Islam. And that's at 5 Pine Street Extension, Unit 1C. Um, so that's also this Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. And after you've done the open house circuit, you can come volunteer at the community dinner, um, It's which is happening this Sunday, or come eat eat at the community dinner. Um, if you're interested in volunteering, please do sign up on the Sinus, Sinus, Sign Up Genius um, so that folks know that you're coming. There is no youth group this Sunday night because of the youth service. There will be uh, the young adult group does meet this Sunday night from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the chapel. Um, so please uh, if you are between the ages of 18 and 35, you are welcome to join that group. And on Monday, as part of our churchwide commitment to support the Black Lives Matter movement, we've been invited to attend an active bystander training um, at First Church in Nashua. So that's this Monday, March 20th. The training is being sponsored, co-sponsored by the Granite Street State Organizing Project and the United Way, and will examine what our role should be when confronting situations and hateful behavior toward people in our community. Um, so everyone is welcome. It's from 5.30 to 8 p.m. and there'll be some refreshments provided. Um, and there's a phone number for you to RSVP to, which um, Ellen, Ellen Barr sent out earlier this week and you can let me know if you want that number. And, and everyone is welcome. Uh, if you are a ropes mentor, you were sent an email yesterday by Ginger Hedges with details of the next mentors only session scheduled for April 2nd. And Ginger wants uh, to make sure you read the email and respond quickly. So if you're a ropes mentor, check your email and fi find that email from Ginger Hedges. And finally, one more reminder that our auction is scheduled for May 6th with a derby theme. Um, so get your hats and bow ties ready for that. That's all I've got for today. Um, if you have any announcements you'd like me to include next week, please get them to me by 9 a.m. on Tuesday, and I'll make sure to include them. And I hope you have a safe and and warm and cozy snow day. I hope you don't lose power. Um, and I hope I will see you this Sunday for a fabulous youth service.